sponsored by your Oklahoma Ford dealers. Welcome into sports, everybody. Well, there is still a long way to go, but the first quarter of the college football season is now in the books, and it would appear the Sooner State has not one but two bona fide college football playoff contenders. We're going to start with OU tonight after the huge defeat of Ohio State back home to face Tulane. The Green Wave's option offense gave the Sooners fits early. Two first quarter touchdowns to take a 14-7 lead. OU answers with a pair of scores from freshman C.D. Lamb. That one about as easy as an 82-yard TD can be. Lamb four catches, 131 yards. Second quarter, biggest play of the game came right here. Tied at 14, Tulane was driving until Parnell Motley intercepts Jonathan Brantley, and there goes Motley. 77 yards the other way. The Green Wave would never score again. Baker Mayfield, 331 yards passing, four touchdowns. Three running backs, Abdul Adams, Marcellia Sutton, and Trey Sermon all find the end zone. OU finishing this game on a 49-0 run. Sooners win it. 56 to 14. They improved to 3 and 0 on the year. Marquise Brown caught an 87 yard touchdown from Kyler Murray to cap the scoring. OU out gaining Tulane 631 to 291. Mayfield now with 10 touchdowns, zero interceptions on the season so far. Big 12 play begins next week at Baylor. Well, on paper, it was OSU's stiffest challenge of the non conference season. On the field, this thing was a cakewalk. Mike Gundy's Cowboys steamrolling Pittsburgh on the road today. That's Tulsa native Justice Hill opening the scoring. 91 yards and two touchdowns on the day for Hill. Next drive, we've got another green country kid finding pay dirt. Jinx grad Dylan Stoner. Open downfield, slips a tackle, and that's a 54-yard touchdown. The first of his career make it 14-0 in a blink. But wait, there's more. Look at Mason Rudolph. His Heisman campaign has a signature highlight, and here it is. On third and 11, he avoids the rush, throws for Marcel Aitman. Marcel Aitman's going to go 69 yards for the score, 21-0 OSU after one, and really, they were just getting started. Second quarter, Rudolph with three more touchdown passes, all of them for Jalen McCleskey, eight yards, then 40 yards, then 48. The next one's going to look just like this one. Rudolph with 423 yards and five touchdowns in the first half alone. My goodness. This thing was so out of hand that the ESPN crew was wearing mullet wigs less than 20 minutes into the game. 49-7 at one point, and the Cowboys go on to win it 59-21. I'm nervous every game. That's why I'm underweight and not in good shape because I'm nervous. Coaches make you nervous, but um, we played really good. I, I, I thought that the, the Indians would win uh, last night, and and, uh, and more so than us being able to play this well as early in the season on the road. It flowed well. I mean, once we got you know a big completion going, whether it was a, whether it was a tempo play or whatnot, it was it was on the money, and uh, I thought we executed well. I mean, anybody can draw plays, but you got to execute at the end of the day. And obviously, a lot of our receivers made plays and uh, it, it ran the ball well. Final totals for Rudolph, 497 yards passing, five touchdowns, four receivers. McCleskey, Washington, Aitman, and Stoner all go for at least 100 yards. Cowboys roll up 676 total. I'd say these guys are pretty good. More sports after this.